after waiting far too long and three weeks after knee surgery, we're finally going to Snowshoe. I'm pretty excited about it. I've always heard good things. I've never been. I really should have went to the last World Cup there last year to watch, and I didn't. I'm still kind of mad about that, but we got there after a long 10-hour drive and was greeted with beautiful scenery. Our house couldn't have been better located for sunsets and ease of getting on and off the trails. That evening when we got there, we had a beautiful view, and then the next morning was a beautiful view, and then we were able to roll right from our house onto the trails. It was pretty cool. Well, that was not my noise. This is Skyline. I was really excited to ride this trail. It's a long, flowy jump trail. But I gotta be honest, I was kinda disappointed in it. You have to slow down for nearly every single jump so with it, when you get to the two or three wow. jumps that you don't have to slow down for, you come up short. I think for a lot of people, it's a good trail. I think the trail's built well. There's no steep lips. All of them have a really nice, mellow lip and all types of different jumps and step downs no gaps anybody can ride this trail but if you carry a decent clip through the corners and everything you will have to break for most of the jumps Brake's gone. Yeah. Huh. Oh, chain. Ah. Those are slow.
I'm stopping. Yes, I'm dealing with a rattle, more than one actually. I'll tell you more about it later in the video, but you will hear it off and on in some of the clips. Oh God, that's twice in a row I case out of that one. That hurt. Are you, are you okay? Don't worry, Zach was okay. He just needed a minute to catch his breath back. He's not a fan of this trail, I will say that. My hands are killing me, boy. Yeah. We had a great trip, but it wasn't without adverse. I had a little old tip over. I had a crazy rattle I couldn't find on my bike. I completely tore it apart. Looking for it to come find out it was the front wheel. And Mason broke a wheel. I'll put the clip in here, but uh. Oh! That sounded As terrible. If you know me, I carry a spare wheel, so we were good to go there. We did have a bunch of great laps, like this one. Upper Dream Weaver to Lucid to Lower Dream Weaver. Someone is not looking ahead. That someone is me. Wow, it's dark. There's no way that inside's better. Oh, good. 
<laughs> We're good. Yep. It's the corners. The corners. The echo. Yeah, Zach. Because I showed up with brand new suspension I'd never ridden before. I had some issues with it. Four clicks is a big change, right? I'm gonna open it some more. But once we got it sorted out, I started riding some of the black tech trails. Yeah. Well, it's a whole lot to look at. But unfortunately, I messed up my camera and I didn't record enough of it to even make a full pass. So here's my favorite lap down from the western slope. So, ooh, that was a rim dinger for sure. It's first weekend ever at Snowshoe. This place is sick. And uh, this is day two, last day. And I probably overdid it yesterday. 
didn't explore as much as I should have. But had a good time and rode a bunch, like a whole bunch. I am hurting today. Everything is sore. I'm uh, definitely out of shape, and I'm for sure out of downhill shape. Because I've been off the bike for over a month and just got back to pedaling. So, I took a long lunch break. All my buddies went and ride. And now I'm back going again, and I'm going to try to catch them up on the hill here somewhere. And see how it goes. I'm going to go across the street to the basin side. That's where there are. But our condo is pretty cool. It's like maybe a third of the way down the hill on this side. So I can literally roll out of the driveway, cross the gate at one of the roads, right into the trail. So that's what I'm doing. Go to the bottom, get the chairlift to the top, go to the cross the street to the other side of the basin side and find them. So. Yeah, it should be fun. I'm trying to take it easy. I'm by myself, and I am extremely sore, man. My hands and forearms, shoulders, just out of descending shape. But this weekend, I'll fix a lot of that. I've got a uh, shock whiz on my fork because I've done chain suspension again. And I really thought it would be easy to find my setup, but that has not been the case. So, I'm not exactly a shock with this fan, but sometimes it gets me in a ballpark. And right now I'm not in a ballpark. I'm not a bike park, no, I'm kidding. You know what I'm saying? On oh, these rocks. I need to do that drop. It's ugly on the backside. Probably looks like nothing on camera. roll this oh, okay yeah I can jump that I can jump that too I did it yesterday I'm not going to mess with any of these drops man I, my arms are hurting I just don't know that I would have the strength to hold myself up on the on the hit and just not crumple into the bike. So.
Oh, let's judge that one. Man, Snowshoe is a beautiful place. I didn't see it, but my buddies even saw a bear from the chairlift. But I did see all sorts of other wildlife right at the cabin even. Speaking of wildlife, let's take a lap down Dirt Beaver. That's a hard hit right there. It's kind of awkward. There's a corner there. It's hard to believe all that noise was coming from my front wheel, but it was. The little collar axle thing that goes between the bearings and the hub, one of the bearings wasn't pressed in all the way, and it let it flop around on the axle and make that noise. I chased it for a day and a half, drove me crazy. My hands are killing me.
and just like that our trip is over. Let me show you how easy it is to get to our cabin from the top of the lip on the western slope. Despite my poor fitness, a broken wheel, unknown rattles, kind of dealing with elevation too, I think. I'm a flatland guy. I live at about 250 feet, and this was at 4,500 feet. So despite all that, we had a fantastic time, and I already can't wait to come back. And maybe I'll see you there.